Aquí más. Dining with the Chef. Itadakimasu is a Japanese customary phrase that is said before eating meals. This show introduces you to the joy of cooking and eating washoku, or Japanese food. This is Master Chef Saito, who teaches us the heart of Japanese cooking with incredible skill, from the basics to professional level. And this is Ms. Rika Yukimasa, who introduces us to the joy of Japanese cooking with her thoughtful recipes. These two experts will open your eyes to authentic Japanese cooking. Today, Chef Saito will demonstrate how to make beef hamburger steak, which is a Japanese take on Salisbury steak. Okay, let's begin cooking. Hi everyone, and welcome to Itadakimasu, Dining with the Chef. I'm Shelly. Hey, Mr. Saito, what are you doing? We're on air. Oh, it's so delicious. Um, Mr. Saito, mm -hmm. this is a Japanese cooking show. I don't think you should be eating a hamburger. This is teriyaki hamburger. Mm -hmm. Teriyaki is Japanese, isn't it? I guess. <laughs> chef Saito is a top chef and also a teacher who lectures about Japanese cooking all over the world. He is popular, known for his fun character, mixed with clear and easy explanations of cooking techniques. Today, he'll teach us many secrets of Japanese cooking. Uh, today's menu is Japanese teriyaki hamburger steak. Mmm, nice. Japanese people love hamburger mm. steak. Yes, how do you like? I love it too. <laughs> Very excited. It's one of the popular dishes in Japan. Mm -hmm. Hamburger steak came to Japan from overseas about 200 years ago. With a few changes here and there, it has become what is now called hambagu, or Japanese hamburger steak. Hamburger steak is made by mixing ground beef, egg, onion, and breadcrumbs. It's airy, tender, and very juicy. One of the joys of eating hamburger steak is choosing a sauce from many variations. It's a standard homemade dish, and it's very easy to make. Kids will love it. Okay, let's begin making the hamburger steak right now. So now, hamburger steak is part of Japanese cuisine. Mm. But today's menu is a Japanese hamburger steak, right? Yeah. Um, that means you have to add more Japanese flavor. Mm -hmm. What are you going to change? Oh, this point is tofu and grated daikon. Mm -hmm. Daikon is Japanese radish, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Tofu and daikon radish are so healthy. Mm. The magic ingredients. Ah. Here is today's menu. It consists of two other dishes, so you naturally might choose less meat and more vegetables. The hamburger steak is the main dish. It comes with rich teriyaki sauce, but the grated daikon radish nicely cleanses your palate. Some of the grated daikon radish is also going to be put in a salad with garlic chives and vinegar. And cabbage miso soup. It's a good idea to have vegetables like this when the main dish is mainly meat. First, let's cook the hamburger steak. The sauce will be teriyaki today. Here is the list of ingredients. You might feel the amount of beef is too little. Don't worry, it will fill you up when you add other ingredients. Today, we want our hamburger steak to be very healthy. So it's mixed with tofu and garnished with daikon radish. First, chop up the onion like this. Okay. Okay? The half the onion to the... Mm -hmm. like this. Mmm. Mm. Wow, you're cutting it very small. Yep. Okay, now it's time to show off a professional skill. When you finally chop the onion, first make strip cuts along and across the grain. Be careful. Uh huh. Then start to cut <laughs> straight through. The final diced cubes should be one to two millimeters. 
Let's check it again in slow motion. Wow, look at the professional technique. The diced cubes are so neat and attractive. This gives an extra texture when mixing with ground beef. It's okay? Okay, you try this? Okay. Let me try. Oh, oh my go. goodness. All right. And done. And done. Done. Yep, wow. perfect. Yeah, yeah, very, very easy, sure. Uh huh. But this way is easy too. More, but, but this is beautiful, you know. Sometimes you know you, you, you can see some some yeah. small and big and small. Yes, the shape is not even. If you use a food processor, water leaks from the fibers because they're chopped too many times. The onion flavor is gone. It's better to use a knife. Yeah, well, yeah, it, yeah. it looks very nice. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay then, let's cook the chopped onions. Heat a frying pan over medium heat, add vegetable oil, then add the onion. Cook frequently mixing the onion in the pan, being careful not to burn it. By cooking the onion, excess water is gone, and the sweetness of the onion is concentrated, and the hamburger steak is not soggy. After four to five minutes, the onion turns golden brown, and it's a sign that it's almost finished. Let it cool to room temperature. If the onion is too hot when mixing into the beef, the surface of the beef cooks a little and becomes hard. Now then, uh, let's cut up the vegetable for garnish. Okay. Yeah. Today we have broccoli, mm -hmm. potatoes, and carrot. Carrot. Mm -hmm. So by size of the, like this. Mm -hmm. And then trim the carrot. Okay. Like that. Oh, so you're you're rounding the edges. Yes, exactly. Why do you do that? This is more beautiful. Okay. <laughs> the nicey. Mm-hmm. And also uh, not breaking. Oh, so when uh, you're cooking it, it's yeah. harder for the carrot to break apart. Yeah. I see. So it looks better. Looks and better. And it's going to taste better. Yeah. Now, let's show you how to cook vegetables efficiently. First, cook the quartered potatoes and bite-sized carrots, starting with cold water. When the water boils, add the broccoli. After 30 seconds or so, when the color has changed, transfer only the broccoli to ice water to brighten the green color. Then, after five to six minutes, check if the carrot is done by spearing it with a skewer, then take it out. The potatoes take the most time. Cook one to two minutes more. When done, drain them by discarding the water between the lid and pan by partially covering the pan with the lid. Return the pan with the potatoes to the heat. Season with salt and pepper and frequently shake the pan to distribute the potatoes. This will eliminate excess water and the potatoes will break a bit. Also, the surface will look powdery like snow, which makes for a fluffy texture. This powdery surface potato is a popular garnish for Japanese hamburger steak. So we're going to use ground beef for the mm -hmm. hamburger steak, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, add a little salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and the knead is very well. Okay. Shall you try? All right. Okay. The salt mm -hmm. and the pepper. Like maybe it's okay. Like this one. Okay. Okay. And just go ahead and knead it. Hmm. Looks like Shelly isn't mixing it the right way. Uh, what's wrong? Is it okay? No, no, no. Here is our chef's tip. For the beef, it's important to knead it, not to just mix it. Carefully watch his professional technique. First, knead the ground beef against the side of a bowl. After a while, the beef becomes stubborn. You can see the red bits of the meat stick to the side of the bowl. The fat melts and it's mixed with the red meat when the beef color changes to pink. Once it reaches this stage, it's done. Actually, there is a chemical change in the beef during kneading. Meat contains a protein called myosin in its muscle fibers. 
These can be easily dissolved with salt. So, if you add salt to meat and knead it, the muscle fibers release myosin. Myosin also has a net-like characteristic. The net becomes tighter when subjected to heat and seals in the flavor as it cooks, producing a good hamburger steak. Mmm, looks really mm -hmm. nice. But, Mr. Saito, yes. this is for two people, right? I don't think that's going to be enough meat. <laughs> no problem. Now, here comes tofu. Tofu? Yes. What are we going to use tofu for? Soybeans contain vegetable protein. Meat contains animal protein. Since both characteristics are similar, tofu is often used instead of meat in Japanese cooking. Mixing in tofu allows you to use less meat, which naturally is healthier. Tofu mixed hamburger steak is popular among people who care about their diet. Tofu contains a lot of water, so you should drain it before mixing it with the ground beef. Tear the tofu by hand and put it into a heat-proof dish lined with paper towels. Transfer to a microwave. Heat for one and a half minutes at 500 watts. Transfer into a sieve to drain more and cool to room temperature. After the tofu has cooled, you can mix it with the ground beef. This time, you don't need to knead it, but mix it well. Mix until the white bits are distributed evenly. So here we have an egg, some chopped onions, and some breadcrumbs. So what next, the onions? No. No. Mm. First, the egg. Okay. Yeah. The order is important. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes, Japanese-style hamburger steak has a certain way of mixing ingredients. This determines the texture of the hamburger steak. First, mix the egg into the beef. Both have much protein, making mixing easy. You can put in the, in, to okay. the egg, yeah, about uh, just a little. A little bit. Maybe three times, four times, you know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Not too much. So you want to mix it in little by little. Yeah, little All by little. Right. Okay. Okay. Okay, stop. Okay. Good. What happens if you just dump it in and mix it? Mm. If you add the beef, tofu, and egg quickly, it will separate. Add the egg little by little, and it will act like a tempering agent. The beaten egg will conveniently help bind the beef and tofu together. When the mixture is coated with the egg and cooked, it maintains its shape. After mixing the egg well, next, add the cooked onion. Uh, onions. Okay. Yeah. Next is the onions. So, do I have to do it little by little again, or? No, it's a dilute. So throw it in? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, is there any special way you're supposed to mix this, or just go ahead and... Now, onions to the lightly mixing. Okay. Enough, yeah. All Not right. too much. Yeah. Okay. Mix the onion into the mixture lightly but evenly. And then the breadcrumbs? Yeah, and then uh, breadcrumbs, yeah. Okay. Soak up with the meat juice. Oh, all right. Okay. So it makes it a little thicker. Mm-hmm, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keeping the umami flavor inside the hamburger. Oh, I see. Okay. So today meat, oh, hamburger, it's perfect. Yeah? Yeah, good. Perfect. Yeah, the feeling is good. Now I know why the Japanese hamburger mm -hmm. steaks are so soft. There's so many tricks to it. Uh, if a hamburger only the no meat, mm -hmm. it would be hard and taste too simple. Okay. Uh, all extra uh, ingredients, not only a soft texture, mm -hmm. but also the more the flavor of it. I yeah. see. Nice. So how long should we mix this? Uh, until it becomes as soft as you are. Earlobe. Okay. Like this. All right. Mm -hmm. The same? Uh, same. Same? <laughs> yeah, <but> same. <laughs> okay. Next, let's form the mixture into patties. Coat your hands with vegetable oil so that the mixture won't stick to them. Divide the mixture into quarters and then pick up one of them. 
Slap with both palms and shape into a firm patty. You can remove extra air inside, like this. Okay. Treasury. All right. So what happens if there's extra air inside? Yeah, it's bond. It will be exposed. Oh, because the air inside is heated up and mm -hmm. expands. Yeah. And it makes the hamburger blow up. Yes. Okay. And they put in the palette. Finishing touch is this. Make an indentation in the center with your finger. Is this for good luck? Good luck also. <laughs> but it's a cooking hamburger evenly. Oh, I see, because the center part uh, yeah. is the last to be cooked. Uh -huh. It should be thinner than the other parts. Yeah, exactly. Mm. It's perfect. Nice. Now, we have four patties. We're going to cook them at the same time, so it is important to make them the same size and the same thickness. So now the patties are ready. Shall we prepare the sauce before cooking them? Yes, teriyaki sauce. All right. Mm. So we start off with the sake. Yes. And the mirin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some sugar. Sure, yes. And soy sauce. Mm -hmm. If mirin and sake are not available, just substitute with white wine and honey. The substitute can be made by combining three tablespoons of honey with 100 milliliters of white wine. Honey gives the food a sheen, and wine keeps the patties tender and juicy. All right, let's start cooking the patties. Heat a frying pan over high heat. Add the vegetable oil and melt the butter. Add the patties to the pan and cook over medium heat. After two or three minutes, when the bottom of the patties becomes a bit white, flip them over. This is the perfect color. The cooked surfaces release their great aroma. Turn the heat down to low, cover with a lid, and cook as if you are steaming. After seven to eight minutes, check if they are done. So is it cooked? Yeah. Like this? Mm-hmm. Mm, looks nice. So, Smells nice, too. If it's a uh, juice from inside, it's mm -hmm. clear. If the juice is transparent when you spare it with a skewer, it shows the patties are cooked in the center. The hamburger steak is done. So now we take the cooked patties out of the frying pan. Yeah, exactly. All right. Take the patties from the pan. Like this. Add the teriyaki mixture into the pan and heat. The teriyaki mixture is going to combine with the juice and fat of the remaining meat in the pan, which makes a rich and yummy sauce. When the sauce comes to a boil, return the patties to the pan. And then cover the juice, oh. the sauce, and the patties. All right, you coat the patties with the sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then teddy teddy. Teddy teddy. Yeah, the shine. A teddy teddy. Oh, right. Teriyaki burger is teddy teddy. Very right. important. Teddy in teriyaki yes, means it's correct. shine. Yes. So why are the hamburger patties shining with the sauce? Oh, um, the secret is uh, milling and sugar, hmm. which is important the, the seasoning in Japanese cooking. Oh, I see. Yeah. So Japanese cooking uses mirroring and sugar very often to get this shine. Yes. Mm, okay. So once the liquid is gone, it's going to be ready, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay. Ah, it's done. It's done? Yeah. All right. And the de decoration now. Or vegetable? Mm-hmm. Okay. Broccoli, carrots, and, and potatoes. potatoes. How many pieces? How many pieces? Mm hmm You need one or two? Um, I'll have three. Three? <laughs> three. <laughs> I'll have one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think two. Two? Yeah. All very right. healthy. This is today's hamburger. Right. Very so healthy. Tofu yeah, tofu okay. inside. Very healthy. And then to juice. So, we serve... Done. The hamburger steak uh, yeah. with the vegetables, and we're done. No, 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 shit. No. Mm -hmm. What? One more thing. This 
Daikon. Daikon. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Our last mission is the Great This Daikon. Okay. It's very simple to grate a daikon radish. Cut the daikon into pieces that you can comfortably hold, peel, and grate. A daikon grater is an essential tool in the Japanese kitchen. Made of ceramic, made of bamboo, and made of steel. This type of copper grater has been used for several hundred years. It's traditionally made by Japanese artisans. They make each tiny protrusion on a copper sheet by hand. The protrusions are slightly different, which grates daikon efficiently, even if you're grating in one direction only. Daikon radish is eaten as is, with a drop of soy sauce and vinegar. But eating with grilled fish is also common, since the daikon radish reduces the fishy taste. It's also good to eat with vegetables and mushrooms. Daikon radish contains a lot of digestive enzymes, but since they weaken in the heat, it's recommended to eat it raw. When you grate daikon, the cells break down and produce some pleasant spiciness, which becomes a nice accent for the dish. You might want to know that the outer part contains more spiciness, so that you can adjust the heat. Grated daikon is an essential garnish for Japanese cuisine. So, if you don't have a grater at home, you could also use a cheese grater or a food processor, mm -hmm. right? Okay. It's okay. After grating the daikon, transfer it to a sieve and drain. So we're gonna drain it, and I could just dump this juice, right? No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. We are use it later. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Let's make one more little dish with grated daikon radish. We're going to make a vinegar salad by mixing garlic chives and grated daikon radish. The ingredients are simple. This dish is a great light accompaniment to the rich meat dish. Add the five centimeter long chive pieces to boiling water and briefly blanch for 20 to 30 seconds. Plunge them into ice water to cool. It also brightens the green color. Squeeze out excess water from the chives. Add the grated daikon radish. Add the soy sauce and vinegar and mix. Mix well until the seasonings are evenly distributed. Wow, it's so easy. <laughs> yes, easy. Yeah. yeah. Can I taste a little bit? Sure, of course. Here you are. Thank you. Okay. Mmm, good. <laughs> Thank you. The combination of the tangy daikon and the flavorful garlic chives, they're very good together. It's kind of like pickles. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. It also tastes good when mixed with uh, uh, boiled mushroom. Mm. It's very healthy. Mm. Okay, finally, the remaining juice from the daikon radish has a chance to be cooked. Miso soup with cabbage. Cabbage also helps digestion. First, bring the dashi to a boil and add the cabbage that are cut into five centimeter lengths. After two to three minutes, when the cabbage leaves are cooked, stop the heat and dissolve the miso into the dashi. Carefully mix so it does not clump together. And this? The juice of the grated daikon. Add the soup. Okay. It's okay. I'm gonna add it to the soup. All right. So both cabbage and daikon mm -hmm. are very good for digestion. So you recommend eating lots of healthy vegetables with the meat dishes, right? Yes. 
uh, that is the most important point for the healthy hamburg stick. I see. Mm -hmm. So now I know that adding more Japanese flavor to mm -hmm. the dishes means it's going to be healthier. Exactly. Also, smell is good. Mm. Now, our set menu is done. Although the hamburger steak is the main dish, we make it very healthy with tofu and vegetables. Please enjoy the refreshing taste of grated daikon radish with hamburger steak. Grated daikon radish has become a spring salad. It's very refreshing with chives and vinegar. Then the miso soup with cabbage. Cabbage helps digestion. If you add chili powder, the taste becomes a bit sharp. Hamburger steak with teriyaki sauce is slightly on the rich side, but it goes well with cooked rice. Very appetizing. Itadakimasu! Mmm, mm. looks so good. <laughs> the meat is nice and teddy teddy. Teddy teddy, it's good. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm gonna try it with the daikon. Mmm. This combination is good. Perfect. Perfect. Thank it's you. It's amazing. Mmm. Good meat. Good? <laughs> good meat. Good meat. You know, this hamburger mm -hmm. is just nice and fluffy and soft and juicy. Mmm. <laughs> and the teriyaki sauce mm -hmm. is nice and sweet, but a little tangy. But the sauce tastes amazing with the Thank refreshing you. daikon radish. Japanese food combination very important. Mm. So the food, some mixed food, some uh, meat soft, hamburger mm -hmm. soft, but the vegetables, some broccoli, just a little hard. Oh, okay, so you broccoli. have to enjoy the textures. Texture. Mm. Yeah. So the radish, the daikon, goes mm -hmm. so well with the meat. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do want butter, uh, grating daikon, mm -hmm. you can use uh, some uh, radish, mm -hmm. any fresh vegetable, any okay. kind, you can do that. You know? All right. Yeah. Mm. So, please eat lots of vegetables when you eat meat in the Japanese style. You should use lots of daikon and cabbage in your dishes for digestion, right? Yes, mm. right. That is the secret of Japanese meat cooking. This is a magic. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.